My name is uh, Andrew Olson. I'm the department head for the medical modeling and simulation department here at the Nimm Health Research Center. Hi, I'm Major Nathan Bastian. I'm an operations research scientist at the Army Cyber Institute at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, as well as an assistant professor in the Department of Systems Engineering. And I'm here at the Naval Health Research Center working with uh, a cadet team. I'm Cadet Alex Gillen. I'm a first year at West Point. Defense and Strategic Studies major. Hi, I'm Cadet Connor Phillips, Sociology major at West Point. I'm Cadet Sarah Martorelli. I'm a first year at West Point, which means I'm in my senior year, and I'm out here with my capstone group. So this is the capstone project of our third course in the Systems Engineering Sequence. Here at West Point, everyone's required to take an engineering sequence, which usually is about three classes, regardless of major. So as systems engineers, we really focus on the systems decision process, which is an organized way of approaching complex problems. We are collaborating with the Naval Health Research Center to help determine the effects that a, uh, a cyber attack would have on medical planning and medical readiness. Where we at NHRC, in my department, we, we run the program office of the medical modeling tools that currently support a lot of wargaming efforts and help the wargamers and uh, military planners estimate casualties and the medical laydown in response to any uh, operational planning that they're doing. We don't have that current capability where it's very uh, kind of almost assumed away in terms of cyber. So we wanted to see what would be the medical effects of a cyber attack, especially in the theater environment. Specifically, we're looking for uh, role two or role three types of care where you have maybe just damage control surgery or just the beginning of inpatient capabilities. So that is our current goal. We, we have a great opportunity. We have a great group, group of students that are working on this. And we're doing a lot of research to see if there is a, a, an applicability or if, if there is an opportunity for us to expand capabilities in this uh, environment in terms of cyber and medical.